welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can tell, we are doing a first impressions and review on the new ColourPop Pretty Fresh collection. I have both the primer and the tinted moisturizer to test out. So if you want to see my review, first impressions, and wear test on the new ColourPop Pretty Fresh line, then just keep on watching. So the Hyaluronic Hydrating Primer is what I have here, and this retails for $12 on the ColourPop website. One fluid ounce of product in here, which is actually really nice for a primer. And then the primer is described as a lightweight hydrating primer that refreshes and preps skin to create a smooth canvas for makeup. But I don't believe that there's any silicone in here, which is typically the ingredient that's used used for smoothing. No, I'm not seeing any silicone. There is coconut oil in here. There's coconut water. There's a bunch of coconut derivatives. There's some aloe. Because I'm seeing a lot of coconut water and coconut ingredients, especially higher in the ingredient list, which means that there's a higher concentration of that ingredient. If you have any issues with coconut water or coconut oil, then this might not be a good primer for you. For application, it says to apply evenly over clean and moisturized skin. I did already moisturize my skin with the CeraVe PM moisturizer that has been my go-to lately and I haven't heard a ton about either of these on YouTube yet. I feel like because ColourPop is releasing products so insanely frequently, it's a little overwhelming for people and people are being more picky with what they choose to review. I really truly do appreciate that ColourPop is so inventive and they're coming out with new stuff all the time, but at the same time, I feel like there needs to be something said for hyping up a product and making people really lust after something. I personally don't jump on ColourPop releases as quickly as I used to just because I know that there are so many all the time, so i rather place an order once I've seen a couple things that I really want. This was obviously an exception for me. I ordered it right when I saw it released just because I've been really into hydrating products lately, especially for the face. I have very dry skin, very acne prone skin, and I love anything with hyaluronic acid in it. So that is the primer. No crazy claims, just lightweight hydrating, and then it creates a smooth base. And then I also did purchase the hyaluronic tinted moisturizer, and this retails for 14 US dollars. There is 1.4 fluid ounce of product in here, which is more than the typical amount. I would say that average is one fluid ounce for a foundation or complexion product so this does have a little bit more than the average I would say and the price is good at $14 for me it converts to like 18 or $20 I think so it is up there it's not drugstore drugstore price um, but it's okay from what I can tell on the website there is about 24 shades and I decided to pick up fair 1n which is the lightest shade and it is described as neutral tinted moisturizer for very fair skin tones, which is me. And then there does seem to be a good amount, decent amount, I guess, of darker shades, tons of medium shades, and then a good amount of like different undertones. It's not as full coverage, so your skin can adapt and warm up the product differently. It doesn't have the same coverage and pigment as a full coverage foundation would, so I think 24 shades is definitely substantial for a tinted moisturizer. This hydrating tinted moisturizer has skin perfecting, lightweight coverage, fresh, healthy looking skin. So really no intense claims, literally just claims to be hydrating and lightweight coverage and it will make you look fresh and healthy. There is dimethicone silicate in it which I believe is like a pore filling skin perfecting type ingredient. Then there's apple fruit extract, coconut juice, and coconut water in here as well. So again if you are sensitive to coconut derived products in your skincare then this is something that you need to be aware of because it isn't in the name based on how coconut base it is, you'd think it would almost be called like the coconut hyaluronic acid tinted moisturizer. Maybe that would be too much, but definitely the main ingredients in both of these are coconut water oil and then hyaluronic acid. No huge claims, which means that I'm really just going to be testing it to see if it's hydrating and looks decent on my skin. Very excited. I do appreciate the packaging. I think the pump on the primer and the glass um, style bottle is really nice. I like the packaging on the primer better than the packaging on here. I think 
think the packaging here is really cute, but for some reason the material with which this is made out of, when there's gaps in the product in the bottle, it looks almost dirty and it looks kind of weird. I tried wiping it away before I realized that it was just gaps in the product. Just looks a little spotty and dirty almost, but it's just gap in product. Okay, time to go in with the primer. That is how much I get in one pump. It comes out very smoothly and evenly. Obviously, you guys can see my skin isn't great right now. I've been struggling with acne hard the last like two months, I would say. My skin is very acne prone and then dry. This feels really, really nice. I definitely would not um, immediately think that it smells like coconut. I'm not really getting a ton of coconut. It smells like Play-Doh to me. So this is how my skin is looking with just the primer on. It feels really, really nice. I was almost anticipating that it would feel similar to my Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. That is like my go-to hydrating primer, but it's definitely a little thicker and more smoothing than that product, but it does leave a nice tackiness and it gives a little bit of, I can't really say a luminosity because there is nothing illuminating in this. It just gives like a healthy, glow and appearance to the skin without actually being like glittery or illuminating in any way. I'm really impressed with that. Feels good. So, so far so good. Let's move on to the tinted moisturizer. I'm really excited about this. I've been into lighter coverage and then just playing around with concealing the bits that I absolutely have to. So if you guys want to see like a lighter skin, dewy, kind of like model off duty style look, definitely let me know if you want to see that. I've been thinking about filming that, especially with my acne. I feel like people think that they can't afford to do that kind of look or feel like they can't pull it off um, because when you have acne, everything about coverage but I've been trying to mix it up and keep it more skin like even though I have acne so if you want to see that video let me know all that to say that I've been interested in lightweight complexion products lately so I'm going to pump out two pumps I guess to start on the back of my hand again no weird spurting with the product comes out very smoothly and nicely and it looks very hydrating and liquidy this has the same smell too it smells kind of like play-doh it seems to blend in super nicely like I'm just playing with it here on the back of my hand it feels like skincare doesn't at all feel like foundation or anything heavy. And then I did pull my Morphe brush and my e.l.f. complexion sponge, but I think I'm gonna go in with the sponge to start. I feel like that's more appropriate for a tinted moisturizer type product. The goal isn't really to build up coverage, it's just to even out the skin tone and make the skin look healthy and moisturized. So I think we'll forego the brush for today. This here is how we are looking with one layer, which was equivalent to two pumps applied to the skin. It is looking incredibly luminous, healthy, natural, very low coverage. I would say that this is the lowest coverage tinted moisturizer I've come across. So far, so good. One layer looks absolutely beautiful, but it doesn't give hardly any coverage. So I am going to do two more pumps, apply the exact same amount over top and see if it builds up at all. Doesn't really claim to be buildable and I haven't seen many reviews so I don't know if it is buildable but again we are getting two pumps and I'm going to apply that on top especially concentrating it in this bottom region of the left side of my face where I have much more problematic skin. I am going to go in with concealer obviously I'm going to keep it lighter coverage today but I will go in with concealer but I do just want to see if this is at all buildable what it looks like when you add two layers of product and again taking my elf sponge and just pressing that into the skin. This is how the product looks on my skin with four full pumps, two layers applied, which I feel like is as much coverage as you are able to get from this. It looks virtually undetectable on my skin other than I think it is a little bit light for me. I am incredibly pale, but it does seem to even be a tiny bit light for me, so I will darken it up a little bit with powder and concealer, but I think it looks incredible if you have even slightly problematic skin skin but for the most part clear like you can tell my forehead looks incredible I don't think I've ever seen my forehead or my between the brow area look better than it does right now 
healthier, more dewy, more natural, all of that. So I'm really impressed with this. I didn't anticipate to be super impressed by it for whatever reason, I guess because it wasn't hyped as much and it wasn't talked about as much as I thought it would be. Again, just because I think ColourPop is releasing more products than they should and is good for the brand, I just feel like they need to build up a little bit of hype and anticipation surrounding their products. It is now 320. So I'm going to go ahead and complete the rest of my makeup. I'm going to keep it very natural, very simple, kind of do that model off-duty type look. And then I will come back probably in like 20 minutes to give you guys my second reel update. And then we will do my final check-in later on. So I will be right back. So this here is the completed makeup look that I did. I ended up taking my time. I watched a couple of videos. I watched recent videos from Samantha Ravendahl and Jessica Jam Beauty, uh, Jessica Braun. It is exactly at four o'clock. So we will call the check-in time 3.30, I would say, because that is when my primer and foundation was on. So the check-in time is gonna be 3.30. And I'm hoping that I can keep the foundation on until about 10.30. This is how the skin is looking after I went in with all of the other products. I think it looks absolutely incredible. Um, I hate watching, I wouldn't say I hate watching, but I typically don't like watching foundation reviews, complexion reviews, whatever, when people are so positive because I get a little skeptical. Um, I'm like, there has to be something you don't like. But really with this, other than the kind of Play-Doh-y scent and the little bit of packaging weirdness on the tinted moisturizer with like being able to see product through, product separation, it just looks kind of weird to me. Other than those two ingredients, incredibly minor things. I would say so far so good. That is my check-in for now. So it is currently four o'clock and I'm going to do some errands. I have to go to the pharmacy. I have to go get my license sticker renewed and then I'm going to dinner with friends. So we have a packed night. I'm going to go do my errands, live my life, and I'll check in with you guys in probably like seven hours-ish. So I will talk to you guys then. Hey guys, so I'm back checking in. It is currently 11 11 how cute make a wish um so the foundation has been on for seven and a half almost eight hours which is pretty ridiculous i didn't think i'd be up this late or would get this long of a wear test but here we are i think it looks absolutely incredible my makeup in general literally everything but my lip color looks good like even my blush is still on which is rare for almost eight hours of wear again i don't really have anything poorly to say about this foundation tinted moisturizer and Primer. My brain can't think right now. I'm so sorry. Other than the things that I mentioned before, which was the slate Play-Doh smell. Weird separation in the packaging. This is definitely my favorite tinted moisturizer that I own thus far. It looks amazing on my skin. Please like this video if you did enjoy it. It really helps me out and subscribe if you weren't already so that you can watch all my videos. I hope you had an absolutely awesome day and thank you so, so much for watching. Bye! <laughs> Thank you.